people, my name is Sherry and welcome to my channel. On this channel, I cover luxury, fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely hit the subscribe button. And while you're at it, hit the bell notification so that you are notified whenever I upload weekly videos. And if you're on Instagram, you can follow me over there as well. You can follow me on Instagram at, at Sherry's Lookbook. All right, y'all, in today's video, I am gonna be showing you guys all my sunglasses, both the luxury sunglasses that I own and also the affordable yeah. ones. I am a true sunglass wearer. <laughs> I wear sunglasses whenever I step out of the house, whether it's spring, summer, fall, or winter time. I always have on an outfit and a pair of sunglasses to match the outfit. I just feel like sunglasses complete every outfit and that's why I'm always rocking sunglasses. But I have a very comprehensive collection and so I'm just gonna go through all of the sunglasses that I own with you guys and talk a little bit about each of the sunglasses. If I see a pair of sunglasses, whether or not it's at TJ Maxx or Target or Forever 21 or at Saks Fifth Avenue or Neiman Marcus, if I see a pair of sunglasses that I like, I'm gonna get them regardless of the price point. And so that's why I do have luxury sunglasses as well as affordable ones. So, so without any further ado, let's get started. All right, y'all, so first up, we have these Fendi sunglasses. Yeah. All right, y'all, get into these sunglasses. This is basically a pair of oversized sunglasses with the Fendi logo on them. Let me show you guys the details of the sunglasses. It has the Fendi logo on the lens. It has Fendi on the side. I love these sunglasses. And you're not gonna believe how much I pay for these sunglasses. I actually paid $140 for these sunglasses. I bought these from Off Fifth, Saks Fifth Avenue. And y'all, I love shopping in discount stores like Off Fifth, Saks Fifth Avenue or Nordstrom Rack because why pay full retail if I can buy the same thing at a cheaper price? And so I'm always going into Nordstrom Rack and off Fifth, Saks Fifth Avenue. And I just happened to look out with these, these bad boys here, but they're a beautiful pair of sunglasses. I love that it has the Fendi logo on them. I love these sunglasses. They're big, they're fabulous, they're gaudy, they're flashy, and so, they're giving, <laughs> but I love them. All right, y'all, so next up we have these Versace sunglasses. I'm gonna zoom in so that, so that you can see the detailing of the sunglasses. It has the Medusa head on the side. It has the Versace uh, name on the front. And again, the Medusa head on the side. Yeah. I actually showed you guys these sunglasses in my spring luxury haul, but I love these sunglasses because number one, they're oversized and I'm, I'm always here for an oversized pair of sunglasses, but also I love that these sunglasses have a gradient lens. I love how it's dark up top and then it gets lighter at the bottom. I love that detail about it. And I love the fact that I can pop the lens out. I'm gonna show you guys how to how I pop the lens out. And I can put ooh. And now I have on the all black lens. Get into these sunglasses. <laughs> and y'all, these sunglasses stay in heavy rotation. I have definitely got my money's worth with these Versace sunglasses. 
I believe I paid $450 and I bought them in March. And so I've worn these sunglasses 8 million times. Well, not literally, but I've worn these sunglasses a lot of times. All right, y'all, up next we have these Chloe sunglasses that are kind of like round or oval shaped. They're oversized. I'm always here for an oversized pair of sunglasses. And these sunglasses also have a gradient lens. I love an oversized pair of sunglasses and I love a gradient lens. But let me show you guys what these sunglasses look like. They're beautiful. They have like a rose colored lens. And I bought these sunglasses at Nordstrom Rack for $79. I told you guys of getting a discount on any and everything, but why pay full retail when I can shop at Nordstrom Rack or off Saks Fifth Avenue and find things that are of great quality that are still in pristine condition? It's like a no-brainer for me, but how beautiful are these? I mean, they're giving, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> All right, y'all, next up, I have a pair of Ferragamo black sunglasses with a round shaped lens. And let me show you guys what it looks like. It has the Ferragamo logo on the side, a round black lens, and then the Ferragamo logo again. And so, I love these sunglasses because when I'm going for an all black look, I just pop these bad boys on and it completes the entire look. <laughs> but um, these, I don't recall how much I paid for these sunglasses. I did buy them at full retail and I'm not sure. I, I've had them for a few years now, but I love them and these two stay in heavy rotation. All of my sunglasses stay in heavy rotation because I always have on a pair of sunglasses. <laughs> All right, y'all, next up we have Prada sunglasses. And these sunglasses are so old. I've owned these sunglasses at least a good eight to 10 years. And let me show you guys what they look like up front or up close, it has the Prada, it has Prada on the side. It has a round shaped lens and then there's the Prada. Again. I mean, I do rock these sunglasses pretty often and I love them just because it's a, a very simple dark brown lens and it and goes with pretty much any type of neutral look that I have on, these sunglasses would go with that look. But I, I love these sunglasses and so while I've had them for many years, I don't see myself getting rid of them anytime soon, I, I absolutely love them. All right, y'all, next up we have a pair of key sunglasses that I paid like $25 for these sunglasses, very affordable. And y'all, I love these sunglasses just like how I love my luxury sunglasses. But get into these sunglasses. I'm gonna zoom in so that you guys can see the detailing of the sunglasses, but the lens has key on it. I always wanna say Quay because it's spelled Q-U-A-Y, but I know the proper pronunciation is key. <laughs> but get into these sunglasses. How dope are these sunglasses? And for $25, I mean, come on, you can't beat that price. And that just goes to show that, you know, once again, it doesn't matter 
Like a pair of sunglasses is a pair of sunglasses, regardless of whether or not you buy them at Forever 21 or uh, Century 21 or Bloomingdale's. If you see a pair of striking sunglasses, I would say go ahead and buy them just because, again, it completes any look. And I've definitely gotten my money's worth with these sunglasses. All right, y'all, so we are at the end of the video and I'm gonna show you guys the final pair of affordable sunglasses that I own. Get into these sunglasses. These sunglasses are by Kate Spade and I pay $50 for these sunglasses. And I love that these sunglasses have a blue lens. How cute are these sunglasses? How cute are these sunglasses? I have rocked these sunglasses so many different times and I just love the blue lens. So, so fashionable, so cute, so chic. I love them. All right, y'all. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me your thoughts. Let me know which pair of sunglasses that you like the most. And also sound off in the comments about whether or not you only buy high-end luxury sunglasses or if you have a mix of sunglasses, both affordable and luxury sunglasses, like how I do. <laughs> but let me know what you think and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And until next time, bye.